Hi there guys, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this nice glossy glass orb logo in Photoshop CS4 or CS5. Now you could use this logo for your YouTube channel, maybe even for if you have a band, you could use it as that. Whatever you want it to be, your company, on your website, looks great. So, we have the text here, like so, with the drop shadow, and um, so you, could, you know you want to put your uh, the company's or the band's initial or you could put the full name in small text if you want to so I'm just going to show you how to create this I'm going to go up to file new and I'm going to make my width 500 and my height 500 and click OK so once there I'm going to make sure my background color is black and hit control and backspace to make the background black or you can go and get the paint bucket tool making sure your foreground color is black and um, filling it in black now I'm just going to um, get the ellipse tool down here and I'm going to make sure my foreground color is a grey, doesn't really matter for now um, but just make it a grey and I'm going to click somewhere in the center and hit control and shift, alt and shift sorry alt and shift and drag up dragging up so it mostly fills most of your canvas size let go so once it's there we're just going to go onto the shape one and choose effects gradient overlay and I'm going to choose the gradient and I'm just going to choose a dark grey to a light grey so this is going to be the outline of our um, what's it called, the logo so now we're going to create the glossy part we're going to get the elliptical marquee not the elliptical marquee tool, so the ellipse tool and making sure our foreground colour is a nice blue now I've got this one copied that I found before and it is um, 70 FDFF so if you want to copy that you can it's just this nice light blue um, you can copy that from the um, description below this video so if you want to copy it feel free to now I'm just going to get from around the middle again holding alt and shift and dragging out now depending on how big you want the thickness to be on the um, like the, out the border um, depends how big you want to make the circle so that's about where I want mine I'm going to let go now if you hold space you can when you're you know if I just show you on the side here you, when you, if you hold space you can move it round so if you want to that's what you need to do if you want to get it into position but we're going to want to make sure that this is exactly in the center so when I'm on my shape 2 I'm going to um, come over here to the shape 1 onto the actual circle and click now it will bring up the March and answers people call it. I'm just going to get my normal tool up here. I forgot what it's called, just the uh, move tool. Now I'm going to hit this one over here. Uh, what's this called? Oh, the align vertical centers and this one here. So now this means that our middle, the shape 2, is completely centered. Now hit control D to deselect from this. And um, now we're going to want to get the brush tool. Now I've just gone for the hazy brush as it's called in the basic brushes so just go to your basic brushes and choose it now I've made the size 401 pixels but it could just be 400 and okay um, you're gonna want to it's gonna ask you to rasterize the layer hit OK so now the shape is rasterized now I'm just gonna make my foreground color a nice lighter color so just literally just go over to the side and make a lighter blue and I'm just gonna hit, click once click twice so now it's just brought out this nice sort of glow in the middle and then I'm just going to back, get back to my move tool now I'm going to want add the little glossy bit at the top of the logo so I'm going to click on the edge of this it brings marching ants as it's called get the gradient tool choose um, the gradient um, foreground to transparent get the what um, color on the left sorry yeah on the left and choose it white I'm just going to drag it down all the way to the edge of here and choose white white again okay now it's so it's gonna be white to white okay so white to transparent white I'm gonna click hold and shift and drag down to the middle and there we are we have this nice um, white gloss on the top now we're gonna to want to add the text now if I get the text tool here now the font I'm using is antipasto if you want to use this font feel free It'll be in the download it in the um, link in the description. Now I'm just going to create my text, so mine's going to be PCD, making sure my text color is white. Now I've gone for quite a big size um, size for the text because um, 
I'm just using initials if you do an actual company name you know you want to make it bigger I'm just gonna add a drop shadow to this so I'm gonna hit control and alt to duplicate the layer and just drag down like so now I'm just gonna center it out so that's about centered leaving a tiny little little gap here now I'm gonna go to edit transform and flip vertical so flip the text completely vertical around and then I'm gonna get the rubber tool and I'm gonna make sure my opacity is at 100 percent I'm gonna click on this one it's gonna ask me to rasterize the layer click OK and now um, just using the hazy basic brush again I've just got it at 70 pixels I'm gonna click here and just take a bit off the top of it then I'm gonna drag it down to around 50 percent and just do the rest of it now the, the more times you click the more you're gonna remove the, the more opacity it's gonna use so there we are I just have this nice shadow drop now or drop shadow yeah now on the PCD copy or the text copy whatever yours is going to be called I'm going to click and choose the so there's two of them so it's that one and the um, drop shadow hit control and T um, I'm going to rotate it round like so um, just move it to where I want I can do that after actually hit the tick sign and I can just move it into place so mine around there and there we have it, we have our nice glossy logo. Now I hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys, I know it was pretty rushed, but um, I have quite a lot to get on with. Um, so if you want to follow me on Twitter, feel free, it's twitter.com forward slash pcreatedesigns. Um, if you don't catch it, get that, just um, go into the link in the description. And um, that's it guys, I hope you subscribe, hope you enjoyed this video, see ya.